Hello everyone, how's it going? In this video I'll be showing you how to fix issues with Payday 3 crashing, freezing and not launching on your Windows computer. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is just simply ensure that Windows is up to date. I know this sounds very simple, but Windows does update DirectX through updates. So it's very important to do this. And you can do that by right clicking on the start menu icon, going to settings, clicking on update and security, and then just clicking on check for updates. Now once you've updated Windows, the next thing that you're going to want to do also is download a program that I created called Easy Gamer Utility. Now once you've downloaded it, you now need to ensure that you have the latest drivers installed for your graphics card. So if you don't know what graphics card you have, you can click on graphics on Easy Gamer Utility and you can see there it's got my graphics card, the RX 6750 XT. So all I now need to do is click on driver download and this is going to take me to the AMD website where I can grab the latest driver for my graphics card. So I'll just simply select it from this list here. Now once you've updated your graphics card driver, the next thing that you want to do is go back to Easy Game Utility and then click on the Clean tab. Now once you're on the Clean tab, just simply scroll down to the bottom and then click on Clear next to your graphics card for the cache files. So I'm going to click on Clean next to AMD. You then need to click on OK and this is just going to remove those old files. Once you've done that, go ahead and do the same for the DirectX shader cache files as well. Click on Clean and go OK. So now we've updated our graphics card driver, updated Windows, cleared our cache files for our GPU and the DirectX shader cache files. Go ahead and try and launch Payday 3 now and see if that resolved the issue you were having. If it didn't, then the next thing that we want to do is keep Easy Gamer Utility open and you then need to go across to the Fix tab. Now within here, we have an option that says Custom Game Fixing. So I'm using the pro version, which means I've got unlimited attempts. On the free version, you only get free attempts. So it's definitely worth giving a go as this can fix a lot of issues with games not working. So you now need to click on browse and go to the location where you installed Payday Free. So I'm going to open up that location now. Alrighty, so once you're in the Payday Free folder, you now need to open up the content folder, Payday Free, binaries and then win gdk you will then see this.exe that says payday free client win gdk shipping.exe select it and then click on open okay so that's come up with some weird warning for some reason if you do get a warning like that which i will try and fix and resolve in and the next update but anyway just click on ok and then grab the location there and then just simply go back to here paste it in and then go backslash and you then just need the file name so I've got it here just go rename and grab that file name and then add it to the end there so we got the location path of the game then the .exe name you now need to select your launcher so I've got the Xbox at Microsoft Store selected and then just click on attempt fix now this is going to run through a few different troubleshooting methods and try and resolve the issue that you've been having with Payday 3 and with a bit of luck it's then going to just simply launch the game. If it doesn't launch the game though that doesn't mean that it's not fixed the issue you are having as it would have ran those troubleshooting methods before launching the game and you can see there it's launching the game. Happy days that would have resolved the issue on my computer hopefully. So if that didn't fix the problem that you're having though, the next thing that you need to do, let me just close the game down. The next thing that you need to do is simply open up File Explorer. Once you have File Explorer open, click in the address bar and do the percentage symbol local app data. And you then need to do the percentage symbol and press enter. You're now looking for the payday free folder. Open this folder up and go into saved and then config. So if you have easy game utility, you can simply go to files. You can then find payday free in the list here, select it and then go config files and bam, there you go. You've got the location of the config files, very handy. So what we want to do now is just simply right click on this folder here that says WinGDK, go rename and then just add CS onto the end of it. Or you can add BK, it's up to you. Once you've done that, go ahead and launch the game again and see if that resolved the issue you were having. If it didn't, then the next thing that we want to do is open up the launcher where you purchase Payday Free from. 
So the first option that I'm going to show you is the Xbox app. As you can see, I've now got the app open. All you need to do is find the game within your games list, click on the three dots, and you then need to go to manage, and you then simply need to go to files and click on verify and repair. This is then going to repair your corrupted game files if there are any that are corrupted. I will now show you how to do this in Steam, then the Epic Games Launcher. On the Epic Games Launcher, select library and then find the game in your games list, click on the three dots, and you then need to go to manage. Obviously, I'm not using the game as I don't have it on the Epic Games Launcher, I'm just using an example game. You then need to click on verify next to verify files. And again, that's going to check for those corrupted, corrupted files or any other issues. Now I will show you how to do this in Steam. In Steam, you need to go to your library. Once you're on your games library, right click on the game. So I use Clicker Heroes as the example. Go to um, Properties. I nearly said Manage then. And you then need to go to Installed Files and then click on Verify Interactive Game Files. And again, this is just going to check those files to make sure none of them have become corrupted or missing. That does now bring me to the end of this video. If you're still having issues with Payday 3 not working on your computer, then I would recommend that you try reinstalling the game. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button. And if you want to see more, click the subscribe button.